What's up guys, this is the Roman and I am back bringing you text episode of my Empire Total War, let's play as the United States. So to round off happened last time, we knocked the French Empire out of the game, meaning that lots of new pirate regions have been, aris have been arisen, which has then made the American region um, more important. So we've got this army down here that's going to take Antigua, take capture Guatemala, and the Spanish garrison, the Spanish assault is still continuing. And we also have a new army being recruited here in Caracas to start knocking out Martinique and then land um, in Lower Louisiana. Then we're also raising another force here in New York, which will then I'll probably go and hit the Huron, actually. Hit the Huron, take Moose Factory, and then start to wind south. Although I suspect this army will probably beat them and hit these two regions first. Then when it comes to Europe, as we capture Corsica, the next attack will be, well, actually, because we made peace with Prussia, we can't really attack this region. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to send them to go and hit... One's going to definitely take Crimea and secure that. And then... Who are we at war with? That's the question. Not many people, I suspect. Mexico, Marathas, Persia, Savoy, the Ottomans. Unless we send them to start hitting, I don't know, maybe take land and hit Persia. Knock the Persians out, take uh, take Kabul and Afghanistan and start to do some fighting against the Maratha Confederacy. It's possible. Although it is rather convenient having this blockade, this block of troops that they can't actually stop me. round that army up nicely got lots of stacks out here not really doing anything but it's mainly because I don't really feel the need to just do a bit of spotting investing and we also have these armies advancing on uh, advancing on the Ottomans a couple of stacks up here actually which so. I might seek to engage Ready for Serbian, this is the Serbian garrison. Sir. So I might run them up to this artillery fort. Because that'll block them in. If they try to advance through Transylvania, then we will entice them into a fort battle, which I think would be quite nice. Sir. You're not really doing anything. Can you leave Prague yet? You absolutely can. Lovely. Yes, sir. Let's head here, because eventually we're going to have to hit the Russians. And they will not like it. And Russia is equipped with an absolute metric heckload of troops. And that's why all these guys are here, ready to hit Copenhagen. Because I, I would like to hit it with all of these, well, th these three stacks in force on the first turn. Then bring in these armies up here in Iceland down to hit uh, Norway. And then really try and sweep through the Baltic as fast as possible. That would be the goal. Get a fish I must get two fisheries. Iceland doesn't really have anything to export, so let's just do fish. Cool. Oh yes, I've got all these Italian troops as well. <laughs> or I could just declare on Prussia and bite the bullet, fight whatever hell battle this is gonna end up being. Like a similar one to the French, I suspect. But it needs to be done. I think I'd rather beat this army, these guys here first. Well, I know, but it'd be more interesting. Lots of different stuff. And no mortars yes, handily, sir. whereas I've got Ready some. Forward. Although, what I really like, really, really like. Sir. So, if I, if I did that, for your if I declare on them, wait for them to move, and then trigger a defense, that would be quite nice. Because if I can knock the Prussians out, then I know I've got a completely solid front. I've got no problems back here. Mm, there's a Russian Navy, a strong Russian Navy at that. Still wandering around. Oh, these guys are still here because the Marathas are still here. Which, that's a fair expense, I think. To be honest, this garrison might be worth spending doing something else with, but not much point. Why don't you do hit and turn? Get some replenishment done. Ah, oh no. Well, I might have just left the op left the uh, 
Give Newfoundland... The... Ooh. So if, I, so if I did this trade, all of their, their entire army will land in Gdansk because the, they'll all teleport to the closest region. No, it's better for me to have them isolated, I think. Because ideally, I would, as an army... Ooh, okay. Oh. Hopefully Moldavia finishes building its walls. Could do of knocking the Ottomans out, really. No. I know we are now effectively the world's superpowers, although I should be tremendously more super than you, but AI has got to AI. When I do hit Russia, I'm probably going to try and attack it from as many angles as possible, and that probably includes in near Persia as well, so I may have to make a temporary peace. Temporary peace with the Baghdad garrison and then bring everyone up against the border in the Caucasus so I can just drive into Russia from as many angles as possible. So their armies westward. Well, no, to be honest, it looks, I think it looks like the Swedes and the Russians are still at war. So, because the Swedes look like they're blockading or burning Russian troops. Or blo Russian, Russian possessions, at least. Copenhagen is absolutely going to get hit. It's absolutely going to get hit. Alcard, Persia, accept a ceasefire. No, I'm not going to do peace. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being what? exploited. They traded it away. Now will increase your nation's trade income. Really? Well, the wow, you need to recruit. You are recruiting a garrison, but rather a better one. Militia on great, but if you get enough of them. Yeah, cheeky little Savoyard. Keep our investments going. Because when we hit Russia, they will probably hit, you know, go for us at all at once at the same time too. Azerbaijan is fortified. Lombardy is fortified. Not really necessary, but okay. So let's take this army and go. Probably up here somewhere. Let's take this army in Milan. Yeah, I, did, I didn't even check if they were okay with it. The land's land. okay. Let's probably send them... ...up here as well. Let's go with you. So these guys are going to amphibiously... Well, no, actually, they're not going to amphibiously assault. I'm probably going to dump all these guys on... Sardinia and capture it as well. You could do it with recruiting something just a box down a unit of line will do. Yeah, you're yes, replenishing. Sir. You're replenishing. Sir. You're replenishing. Good, good, good. You're almost done. One more unit if you're a Republican guard. You are. No, that's not even going to be. No. Glorious victory. Can probably leave you straight away. Make yep. ready. Forward. Let's get into port. And then I'll ferry them up to hit Pueblo Nations. They're still being besieged. So the armies up here are gathering. You take position in that port. You, you're a unit short. 
but that should be okay. Take garrison in that port. Take position in that port, sorry. To be honest, there's no harm in actually taking a decent fleet. Can we roam garrison, leave Rome? Doubtful. Oh, I can. I'm still texting you. Perfect. Let's just take Keith Cartwright and his fleet of firsts. Let's embark Ulysses Dalton. And let's secure a foothold in Russia for the future war. Yeah, that's going to be We are one. triumphant! So they have to improve some fortifications by their eastern settlement fortification, and they're usually quite good because they're just big straight lines. So they look like they might be trying to hit Moldavia, which one turn off of building. Kill this army go here. There are currently no Can troops I? stationed at this fort. I thought they might be ambushed As in ambush turn, position. It could easily be occupied. Yeah, let it be occupied. Fine. This army make its way down here to support the attack on the on the uh, Ottomans last last region. Although to be honest, they might be I might be engaged by them. Do I just go for it? I think I could well do. Because if I do th what I want to do is this. And then take these guys. And do that. So that I get these in support. I was wondering if they would say no. Um, but they haven't. So yes, we're going to absolutely fight this battle because the... the the goal, the perfect goal, would be to knock out these roaming stacks, this trap here, these guys up here. We've got a very nice solid front against the Russians in the south. Oh no, actually, let's take. Under siege. <gasps> Don't want to attack with you instead, because you have loads of really cool. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. Because you've got more howitzer firepower. It could easily be occupied by an. Because these guys have a one twenty-four pounder two 12 pounders or I can have two 24 pounders and still have loads of good artillery and infantry. Ooh, I might do it with you instead. Okay, let's assault. So thanks to Doom because now they are also about to be eliminated from the game. Because the trouble is about having reinforced very piecemeal and by that point I may have a position in the fort already. And I'll have the walls, and they'll have to kind of pseudo-assault me. Which I'm happy with. And because this is this is an improved settlement set of fortifications, um, I can put loads of holes in the line, because that's beautiful. Look at that. Lovely, straight, square, simple, easy as. Although we have unfortunately deployed on the backside of a hill. It's slightly fortified would mean that my artillery would be a bit firing a bit of a funky angle unless I position them here knock out a corner that might be a good idea let's deploy one set here to knock a corner out don't want to go too far over here because that's where their reinforcements will be Because that, I don't know actually. Well, 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 we'll see. I've got those chaps in the corner. If it doesn't work, so they're already deployed. These chaps are obviously going to be just dropping quick climb over the walls. In terms of securing the breaches, I want my guard infantry. To be honest, that's probably enough to secure the corner. Then I've got a whole bunch of infantry to attack the centre. No one should be coming behind me because we attacked over a straight. So. Oh, 
god, they're not even... Oh, holy hell. I thought I deployed all my artillery. No, I haven't. Okay, you stay back, actually. So... Shots are off. Perfect. So much damage. Yeah, they are hitting my. Ooh, they are hitting my garrison. My, my assaulting troops. Severely. So I may as well. May as well bring them up a bit. Stretch them out as far as possible. I'm going to blow the hell out of the corner of this fort, so I might make my batteries here actually hit this section of the wall instead. So that guard unit is definitely going to knock that out, no trouble. <laughs> Populous, Delhi Horsemen, Giant Street Musketeers. Well, these, these are the infantry that look like Ottoman infantry, look at those, those look absolutely beautiful. I hope they're not saying that's the town of Istanbul. Or well, that is. Nice big corner piece. I'm curious to see if I can, if I can actually fire on the centre. They are actually firing on the centre. Needs to be seen how successful they'll be. Let's get one on my guard. Oh, was it the 24 pounders doing that damage? It is. Oh wow, they're missing this section of the wall, overshooting and firing into the back. That's perfect. Send up my garrison guards. Get one of my howitzers to work on quick climbing the walls. Get my other set of howitzers to work on quick climbing the troops guarding the centre. Then eventually, I'll probably switch these to round shot and start hitting the troops in the centre of the fort. So this might be a devastating hit. Oh, I'm sure they fired. I suppose not. So there are some Janissaries. Armed populace. Which is we're going to be assaulting up. So this entire stretch of the wall. And probably more. Let's move up. their own artillery now. 18 pounder. That's their organ gun. Looks a bit funky. Is it one big... Sh is it a load of cannonballs? I don't know. Let's get one of them to do round shot and start hitting this unit of cav. Keep this guy doing round shot on their... Keep this guy doing round shot on their... Uh, Section protect, protecting the walls. They're going to be tired, but we're going to be swarming all over these walls and probably around here as well. Probably. There we go. Good round shot off. Every, all my artillery has got an excellent line of kind of fire into side this castle. Let's 
be honest, I'm probably being a bit overkill running them. I may as well let them walk, and then when they start to man the guns, I'll run them. Doesn't matter if it takes a bit longer. Okay, now they're manning the walls. So, this chap, your job is to run and be the square blocker. Your job is to take here. Your job is to take here. And your job is probably going to actually try to go inside or he's cover the bridge. You attack there. You attack there. You attack around here. You run up here, ready to secure this gate. Pretty much you run here, ready to follow them. Lots of damage, and these are Janissaries, and they are good. We're planning on actually doing some quite serious damage in all positions, though. So they are to go here and then form a square. That's a lot of lot of solid Western infantry climbing these gates. There we go. Some good fire inside the city. Let's get my 24 pounders to start hitting there. Good round shot kills in the centre. Yeah, but now this is when things start to grind down. They're climbing down to meet me. How cute. So here come some camels. Form square. Form square. These guys are abandoning, abandoning their position on the walls immediately. through the gate and that starts taking these infantry units actually get them in a well to be honest much as I let them do what they're gonna do. Let's turn fire it well off of this rear ranks then shoot into the back of these guys. They're hitting the armed populace, it's not gonna work. Delhi Horseman unit isn't going to do the job. Stuck on the gates, of course you are. Kill those musketeers. Janissaries. God alive. God knows where you're trying to get. Oh, well, I know you're trying to get there, but bloody hell. Fortunately, these are all armed populace, so they're not going to be. Janissaries are doing a lot of good work. So much so. Capture this gate. Okay, let's get all of my guys doing round shot in the centre because now they're starting to get involved.
Oh yeah, they are gonna get chewed up. Now where the hell do you think you're all going? Guys in a position ready to get through the gate. Hit Delhi Horseman, Delhi Horseman aren't that great. These guys are over, we're gonna more than in melee. Oh god damn it. How many women are there? No wait, that's me there. Oh god. Don't feel bad, don't feel good for you, because you're on your own. Right? At least, thankfully, these are guard infantry that are involved now. Although they are wavering. play on that unit of Janissaries, they've managed to hold their own mightily impressively. Right now it's going to be a hell of a slog, but this is why we have reinforcing army. Oh my god, do you see where these armies are coming in from? guys can win on the walls and get down off the walls that would be mightily handy that's the last of them that's just okay so i've got these guys are still tying up the delhi horsemen well, they're not for long so when these guys take position they can fire on knock out these guys Artillery over here. God, my howitzers are 
artillery are hitting the combat, so let's stop that, because that's not going to go well for anyone. So let's get in and hit their general while they're wavering. Hope these guys can hold the line somewhat. This unit of Mamelukes rapidly. They're wavering, but will they rout? Fortunately, everyone's even most interested in hitting that leeward cop. Come some bashi bazooks. Let's run my general staff through the army. Good. Here comes the second army from a from a quite a good angle actually. Pull the artillery back because artillery is not what I need at this stage. Let's commit my general. At least draw them in at an angle that won't cause them to kill too many of my men. Is it all cavalry that's coming in? Yeah, it is. That'll teach me for not optimizing. But at least cavalrymen come in quicker. Yep, so the center's finally broken. Pull my general's bodyguard back, or well, this unit of general's bodyguard at least. Let's throw the cavalry in rapidly. One camel, one camel nomad winning decisively. So if you could kill him, that would be nice. Everyone, everyone's bugging out trying to get in. Let's turn those guys around. Not interested in your artillery. Any cavalrymen make light work. Who are you? Mamelukes. Lancers hit the Mamelukes. There's a 24 pound hearts unit. It's back there. It's a mighty Lancer engagement. Let's pull all that artillery back. Lots of generals dead. Mamaluk should lose because we are lancers at the end of it. That might mean that we struggle in the follow up engagements. Which 
chase them down. Lance them down. To this unit of Janissary Musketeers because they are causing quite a big problem when it comes to morale. His center spot to keep the town timer going. Trouble is though, fifty one to forty four, we're not winning per se. So let's run the sepoys, first unit of sepoys over there to support them. This unit of Af African native infantry, let's run them in. For some reason though, they seem to have been, they seem to be obsessed with not wanting to move these guys which is super duper handy yeah so they have won the follow-on combat with the mamelukes but i couldn't exactly let them carry on doing what they were doing could I? so they're probably, these guys probably aren't going to do very well against them either very squishy infantrymen but they might do enough Fear of them because they're bugged out. Keep doing what you're doing. Considering your general's already dead, you may as well carry on doing what you were doing. And everyone else just leg it. Uh oh. They finally figured out my dastardly plan! <laughs> Wait out the clock! Oof. Holy moly. Well, that was a terrible battle on my... Pfft, my general dies right at the end. All of them. It's all my generals. Eh, they're replaceable. I'll take that as a win. Yeesh. That's all. That was... Pretty... Oh, this has been a slog, these, these last two parts to record. Yeah, lots of deaths, but... The siege is lifted. They all fall back. Well, we capture they Istanbul. And they've all disappeared because we've knocked the Ottoman Empire out of the game. Another great, great power. You have taken a right hammering, so you can stay in that garrison. I thought you died. Sir. And you. Your orders. Well, you can position yourself there, ready to assault. Yes, um, ready to assault Sophia. Istanbul, you can can't recruit anything, but... Aha! This navy will be ready to full it, sail another fleet over to Crimea to support it. That needs to start... Right, diplomacy. Minor nations, Persia. Request peace. And I will offer you 5,000 shiny gold coins! Lovely! What happened there? It's a tactical tree. They don't have anywhere over here. Okay, I don't. 
Oh, that was that. Okay. I thought it was a result of what I've done with the Persians. I was like, how? Wait, how? Who tactical retreated from where? Yes, sir. But that means I can do things like Sorry. this now. Bring these men up to go threaten. Oh no, I absolutely want you down here. And I want them up here because they're more elite infantry. Because they'll still have some some good quality stuff around here. Yeah. I've got some good infantry, so if I want to bust through the corks, then I need to properly uh, actually commit to do just that. So that's probably why one of these will Sir. land and hit Crimea, and one of these will head east and probably maybe land like here to threaten the rear of the Crimean area. Let's check out the rest of these in a minute. A whole bunch of recruitment. So that you'll, you will be ready in that turn. Next turn, sorry. As will you. Traits gained. Guatemala is secured. Upgrade the farm. Lots of traits. Crimea is captured. Traits, traits. Heroic death of Murdoch Pope. God bless him. But we got the Ottoman Empire. And do you have a university? Steam powered factory. Pleasure gardens. No, you don't. You just really dislike me. That's fair enough. Let's knock down this steam-powered factory then, because that'll probably reduce your industrialization a bit, and it means I can build a happiness building. And the Ottomans have been wiped out. Oof. Everything seems to be going okay. Yes. Ooh, oh, actually, I spotted some stuff I can build. In which case, then, this army can move up here and get ready to threaten Kiev in the inevitable uh, war to come. But yes, looking at the time, that is definitely the end of this part. i, I got to go to the gym. Righto, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yet another mighty slog as part of my US campaign. And we will see you next time.